Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manual for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 99. Please turn to it. Page number 99 and today is our lesson number 46. This is the second problem that we are going to do. Practice problem number 2. It says, uh, well, uh, they give us the bar graph. We are going to do it a little bit in a reverse order. We are going to start with the raw data and then we are going to draw the bar graph our, of our own and then it's, then it's asking us to draw three conclusions. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make up three problems and uh, answer those questions. So that those, those three problems will be our three conclusions that we're going to draw once we have the bar graph. So let's get going. So first we need the raw data. These are the salaries that are given to us of different professions. We are told that the secretary makes uh, $25,000. An electrician makes $40,000. A plumber, we are told, makes $50,000, teacher makes $40,000, and finally, a chemist, we are told, makes $80,000. There you go. There is your priorities in the society. Plumber makes apparently $10,000 more than teacher does. Anyway, so let's do our bar graph, shall we? So it goes all the way up to $80,000, so that's what we're going to do here. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. So these are the dollar amount in thousands. And on the x-axis, we're going to show the different professions. So let's get going. First, we have the secretary with $25,000. $25,000 is going to be somewhere here. There is your secretary. Then we have electrician with forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand is up to here. There is your electrician. Then we have plumber making fifty thousand dollars. Then we have a teacher making $40,000, same as the electrician. And finally, we have our chemist who makes twice as much as the electrician does, an amount of $80,000 way up here. That's your chemist. So that is what is that is what it is given to us, and our job is to draw three conclusions. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So here's the first question, and the three questions that we're going to pose, uh, the answer to the three three uh, answer to those three questions will be the three conclusions that we're going to draw. So here's the first question. The first question is part A. What is the average salary? of these five occupations. Pretty straightforward question and we know how to find the average. Average is the sum of all of these things. So let's do it here. The sum is going to be the sum of these five professions divided by five because there are five of them. So let's do it here. The sum is going to be five. We have eight plus four is twelve. 8 plus 4 is 12. Let's start from here. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. 10, then, 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 and then 13. That's 20, 23. So it turns out it's 235,000 is the sum. One more time. What we did was 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. And then 5 plus 8 is 13. 13 plus 10 is 23. So it's 235 divided by 5. 
And when you divide 235 by 5, there are two ways you can go about it, and, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you both. I'm going to show you both here. One is to actually divide it out, and the other one is, is a quick and dirty method, which is multiply the top and the bottom by two. If you multiply the top and the bottom by two, what you end up is two times 235. That's very simple to figure out. Two times 235. Well, 200 times 2 is 400, and 35 times 2 is 70, so it's 470. 470, and in the bottom we end up with 5 times 2, that was the whole point. So we have a 10. There you go, now it's much easier, dividing anything by 10 is very simple, just knock out a 0. So the sum is 47k. Sum, uh, rather, the average of the 5 professions, the average salary, the average salary of the 5 professions is $47,000. Another way to, to divide 235 by 5 would have been the classical method, which is this method. How many fives? How many fives in a 2? Two? 2 has no fives. That 2 goes and joins the 3, becomes 23. How many fives in a 23? 23 has 4 fives. 4 fives are 20. 4 fives are 20. Listen carefully. The remaining 3 goes, the remaining 3 goes and joins the 5, becomes 35. And how many fives in a 35? 35 has 7 fives. Voila, you see, 47,000. So that's our first conclusion. First conclusion that we draw by looking at the bar graph is that the average of the five profession is $47,000. Let's move on then. Next one. Oh, I left my cup. I oh, lost it. I was reaching for my cup here. Uh, let's go on to the next one then. Part B. There we go. So the average was $47,000. Part B. The second conclusion that we want to draw, and of course there are infinite different number of conclusions that you can draw here, they just want you to make some observations, that's all. The, question, the next question is, chemist, chemist salary is what percent of what percentage of a, of a secretary salary. Chemist, chemist salary is what percentage of secretary salary? So here is our chemist, here is our secretary. The chemist we know makes uh, eighty thousand dollars. Secretary makes. Secretary makes twenty-five thousand dollars. Now, if you were to leave it like this, if you were to simply leave it like this, what we would end up with is a decimal. And since they're looking for percentage, we can't just if somebody asks you if if, if I if, if I make one dollar and you make two dollars, what percentage of my salary is, is compared to your salary? If you just leave it like this, we're going to end up with 0.5. We're going to end up with 0.5. We can't just leave it like that. Since we see, well, since we want to express this thing in percentage. We have to multiply it by 100 so that we can get 50%. Uh, and then you will say that if I make $1 and you make $2, then my salary is 50% of your salary. So what, whatever the f this decimal is, we have to multiply it by 100. So that's what we have to do here. We have to, that's what we have to do here, times 100. Okay, watch, watch what happens. It's very simple. Divide top and bottom by 25. So 25 drops out and 100 becomes 4. 8 times 4 is 30, 32, so it's 320%. Is 320% is the answer. What does it mean? It means that the 320% tells us that for for every one dollar that a secretary earns, chemist makes three dollars and twenty-two three dollars and twenty cents. That's what it says. That's what it means. 320% means 320% means that for every one dollar that the secretary makes, chemist makes three dollars and twenty cents because the ratio of their salary is 3.2 to 1. 3.2 to 1, or if you like, 32 to 10. Every 32 dollars the chemist makes, secretary makes only 10 dollars. Or for every 10 dollars the secretary makes, chemist chemist makes 32 dollars. Understand? So that was our second conclusion. Let's move on then. The third conclusion that we have to draw, we're going to ask the third question and we're going to answer it. 
give you a second. Let's go. Let's ask ourselves a third question. Part C. The part C asks us this question. It says, "How does how does a plumber's salary compare to a teacher's salary? How does a plumber's salary compare?" to teacher salary and we have to do the same thing as before here is our plumber and here is our teacher let's find out their ratio shall we the ratio of their salary plumber makes fifty thousand dollars teachers makes forty thousand dollars you divide top and bottom by zero you end up with five over four which is same as one and a quarter one and a quarter now what does that tell us the question was the question was how does plumber salary compared to teacher salary and we would say a plumber a plumber makes dollar twenty five for every one dollar that a teacher makes for every one dollar a teacher makes a typical teacher that is you understand not any particular teacher these are averages so on average, what it says, what it says is that, on average, for every one dollar the teacher earns, a plumber makes a quarter more than that, dollar twenty-five. That was it. Tomorrow we'll do the very last problem on the page that you see here, which has to do with uh, a pie chart. We'll do that tomorrow, and that will be the end of our data interpretation question. And then day after tomorrow we'll start the algebra. Okay. Bye now.